So, I thought I'd saved the shortest video for last, but I think this is just going to be as long as the previous two. So, bear with. What do you work at? Nothing. Don't you work at all? Oh, yes. I'm in the entertainment business. Really? What do you do? Entertain. Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back to another edition of The Fragrantition where we talk about fragrances and I look like crap, but I don't care because I'm going to talk about fragrances today. My allergies are just through the roof today. It's pouring down with rain and then it's sunny. Do you know what? Getting older. I never had this when I was younger. Can anybody relate? Can anybody relate? Comment if you can. And if you're young and beautiful and thin and have nothing wrong with you, then I hate you. So Claude has decided to make an appearance on this video and I don't know how long he's going to be here. Are oh, you, boy? But we'll see how we get on while I trawl through these perfumes. Let's start with Paco Rabanne, shall we? Let's start with Black Excess. This I've had for a while and actually I've gone through one bottle and this is a second bottle. Yes, that's, this is how much I love this scent. It, it has had a lot of hate, a lot of love and I love it. If you love Black Excess, then you're in my gang. This is, oh Claude, what are you doing? Don't you scratch that furniture. Don't you, come on. What are you doing? There's a good boy. Oh, I'm trying not to show any. That's it. Are you going to be a good boy? Yes, I know you're a good boy. So, I can just see him. Oh, he's got down. Yeah, see, typical man. Doesn't know where to... Are you going to get up again? You're going to stay, you can stay on my lap. He's going to stay on my lap. So, Black Excess, if you like it, comment down below. And the only other one I have, because I decluttered uh, the original Olympia, but this is Olympia Aqua Légère. Beautiful, beautiful, salty, vanilla, jasmine, but it's much more lighter. I feel it's more wearable, lovely for this time of year. So, if you love Paco Rabanne Olympia, then there we go. And those are the only two. I did have quite a few more Paco Rabans, but it's not really a house that I really gravitate towards. Right, now most of these, are, I only have like one or two, although some I do have a few more in their houses. So let's just go to the odd ones, shall we? Let's go to Clinique. The only one I have, Aromatics Elixir. It's a witchy brew, potent, hippie patchouli if you love that next one we have from Estee Lauder the only one that I have from Estee Lauder looking at the array of fragrances here that is Youth Dew good old Youth Dew yes Joan Crawford signature back in the 1950s do you know what this is a, a newer version and this is still very very potent I I dread to think what the original formula would, would have been like. Ambery, spices, clove, cinnamon. Yeah, it's everything in that in a bottle. Next one by the house of Issey Miyake. And it is the only one that I have from Issey Miyake. And it is the original one. And I have put a little bit of a dent in. This is an aquatic floral. This is water lilies. This isn't for everybody. This is an iconic 90 cent really and it has very good sillage. Very good sillage. I am not going to sneeze. Oh. Oh. No, I'm not going to sneeze. I'm not going to sneeze. Oh. Next one we have from the house of Nukes. Prodige le parfum. This is. I hardly wear this. Do you know what? I don't. I'm not sure. It's a very suntan lotion scent. It has that Nukes 
prodigious DNA to it. Um, not sure how I feel about this one. There, I've made a decision. Right, I've decluttered that one. Next one I won't get rid of by the House of DKNY is the original Women. One of my husband's favourites. It is basically just this kind of like leafy green lemon. And he loves it. Very refreshing for spring and summer, especially for summer. Next one, we have Lily by Theodorus Calotinis. And this was gifted to me by Paola Bianca. This is a very, very unusual scent. It's like very much chocolatey patchouli. It has a similar vibe to Angel Moogler, but it isn't like Angel by Moogler. But it has this, to me, it doesn't smell like a lily. It smells the complete opposite. It's very much kind of like that hippie patchouli era. And the juice is quite, quite dark. So, Lily by Theodorus Calotinis, the only one that I own. Excuse me for sniffing, but on with the show, as they say. Next one, this was gifted to me by Marcy Mello. This is Bond number no. 9, Chinatown. This isn't the, the actual top that goes with it, but it goes on there. This is a beautiful, spicy tuberose. The only Bond number no. 9 I own. I don't think I will purchase any Bond number no. 9 fragrances. The only one that really does kind of catch my eye is, is it the Doves of Peace? But I'm not going to invest in a lot of money. But... Um, yeah, it is tuberose, it's velvety, it's what I would wear on the streets of New York with Marcy and Veronica. I definitely would. Veronica and Marcy, I would, if I was with them, I would wear this scent. I would wear this scent. I think this is, would be a good memory scent to make. So, and I love it, and I'm forever grateful for it. The next one I have is Gail Heyman Sunset Boulevard. This is orange blossom with amber. This is rich smelling, vintage smelling. It's a reformulated version, and it's a beautiful version, and I do love it. I'm not going to get rid of this. No, definitely not. It is your Norma Desmond in a bottle from Sunset Boulevard. The next one, Roberto Cavalli. This is Nero Assoluto. Not the original one, because I don't like the original one. It's too sweet for me. This, though, this is a gothic. It's got this ebony wood note in, and it matches the bottle. It's very, very dark. I imagine... Actually, I do you know who I imagine wearing this? I imagine in the so I was a quaint fairy tales. I imagine the um, queen wearing this in Snow White. Not hypnotic poison. This one, she would wear this. It's quite nefar It's quite a nefarious scent. So I, that's why I like it. The next one, another vintage we have is White Shoulders. Although this is a reformulated version, but look at the spray. This is. This is this this is very old and vintage smelling. This is this is what your mothers, what your grandmothers, what your great grandmothers wore, and it's what I wear, and I love it. So don't hate me for it. It oh, it's soapy. It's vintage. It's yeah, love it, love it, love it. Now this next one I am going to declutter because I don't like it. It's called Will Weil Weil. Well, in German. Vile means because, but um, no, I don't like it. There we go. This reminds me of op. If you love opium, oh, no, I don't like it. So that's being decluttered. Somebody else may love that, but it's not for me. However, the next Another one, one that was gifted to me by Ange, fifty cents, Rev Elixir by Van Cleef and Arpels. This is. 
a beautiful floral. It really is. It's white florals, it's purple florals, it's it's dainty florals. And I do really, really like this. It's very, very dainty, very, very sweet, very good for spring and summer, very good for now. So I'm going to wear this more in the summer. The next one that was gifted to me by a lovely subscriber, Violet Ida by Miller and Harris. I've never talked, oh gosh, no, this is lovely. I've never talked about this. This is powdery. This is one of the most powdery scents that I have, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, soft, do you know what, I'm gonna spray a little bit. It's a beautiful, soft, powdery violet. It's, I feel like it has iris in as well. It is that, it's, yeah. It's so, so powdery. And talking of powdery, thank you, I love this scent. I am going to talk about another powdery scent also, which is Lipstick On by Replica. Very, very similar style to that. This is, you know, Chicago in the 1950s, applying lipstick in front of a vanity and then spraying this. Beautiful. I love Lipstick On. Reminds me of Violet Ida as well. Although Violet Ida... It feels like it's a touch more, there's a bit more sharpness in there, a bit more, <coughs> dare I say, slightly animalic. Beautiful nonetheless. Ah, talking about another beautiful scent, La Belle de Russie. This is a really, really good dupe for Midnight Poison. If you can't get your hands on Midnight Poison, but I got this on from an eBay seller. Um, and... I have two bottles of this, so I'm going to declutter one. So if anybody wants to purchase that, La Belle de Russie, because I've got one here, DM me. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful dupe for Midnight Poison. And I would say it's probably, well, is it? It's on the same par as a Dua scent. But it, I mean, La Belle de Russie, you know, it's Russian beauty. It's, yeah, I love it. There we go. I love it. Next one we're going to talk about is the only one I have, because I decluttered several from House of um, Jean-Paul Gaultier. Now, the only one I have left is So Scandal, which is the tiny bit I have left in this bottle. This is, in my opinion, the best Scandal. This is Raspberry tuberose and a, like a lactonic milky quality good staying power good sillage and longevity um and a little nod to the legs in the air yes so scandalous next one i have let's go to a niche one now is mists of time by gallagher the only gallagher that i own this is candied orange yeah it says candied orange and mandarin and it has this kind of like mineral element to it in the base as it dries down. It is my, oh, I'm going to wear this more in spring and summer. This is an all year round scent I would wear, but spring and summer, if you want to smell like this mineral, candied, orange, mandarin, bit of patchouli in there. Also, there's a bit of black currant in there. Yep, we're going to go for that. Tick next one we are going to talk about is another niche brand and it's the only one I own I did have two but I decluttered one from the house of Montel Oud Purple Rose this is one of the best Ouds ever and I don't really like Oud but it's done beautifully and it has Oh, this has got me so many compliments. This I, I call one of my vampire scents. I need to do a video later on on just scents. For, I have done scents for a vampire in previous videos, but this is definitely up there with that. It is strong. And you know what, Montel? I'm not sure if I actually... Because I had purple rose and I decluttered it. I got rid of it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to really like Montel scents really Montel and Mansara they're 
Maybe Mansara more than Montel. But anyway, I move on. Moving on to a celebrity scent, but this, in my opinion, is well worth on par with any niche brand. Stash by SJP. I've put quite a dent in it. This, now, I've been told by some people you can, wherever you live, you can still get it quite readily available and then in some other countries you can't. This is woody. This is, this though is like a real dense, deep, dark forest. It has a very, very similar vibe to Spell 125 by Papillon. Just a touch. By no means is it a dupe or the same one, it's not. But if you like Spell 125, you may well like this. It has this, I don't know, it's it's a magical scent. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a hard scent to describe. It's forestry and earthy and just, I don't know, it's, it, it's magical. If you can get your nose on stash by SJP, do it. Next one, which was gifted to me, but again, by the same subscriber who gifted to me Violet Ida, is Boucheron, which is the original Boucheron. This is classic, rich, elegance, opulence. It's beautiful, it's stunning, and I'm so glad I have it in my collection. And thank you so much. So Boucheron, the original Boucheron. Next one, a celebrity scent. Let's go to a celebrity, shall we? And it is Rihanna, which I only have a tiny, tiny bit of this left. Do you know, I don't even know what this is called. I wore this, I remember one day, a couple of years ago, in the middle of lockdown, and I stunk the whole house out. I sprayed this to death. Yeah, Rihanna. One of the celebrity scents. I don't know. It's it's. I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to get rid of it because there's not much of it left. Well, there is, but there's not really. So I'm going to keep that one. The other celebrity scent I have, which I don't know why this is loose, is Christina Aguilera by Night. This I am going to declutter. So I'm going to put it there because I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't wear it. So if I'm not going to wear it, I'm not going to have it. Next one, which I'm not going to declutter, is Romance Resarsi. This, I feel, is better than Cabotine by Grasse for a dupe for Tender Poison. If you love Tender Poison by Dior, get your hands on Romance by Resarsi. The bottle is weird looking, but it is that it has that green floral aspect. It's everything and more. Love it, Rosasi. The next one that was gifted to me by Marcy again is Juliana's perfume. This is Red Carpet Affair, which is a dupe for Gerling Spirituous Double Vanille. This is really strong. This I've never tried um, Gerling Spirituous Double or Gerling Spirituous Double Vanille, but if I would, it would have to be top-notch like this because this this has a sweet yeah it is very it's very sweet but I it's done in a very tasteful way very tasteful way I adore it Juliana's perfume so next one ghost the original which I only have about well I have a little bit left this is powdered rose, a little bit of peach, very much the original ghost and probably the best one. It, whenever I wear it, my husband says, oh, that smells a little bit like Turkish delight. And he loves that. So kudos to him. So I do like to wear that as an everyday scent. This one, aluminum, auto perfumery, trumpet flower, Oh gosh, I'm going to declutter this one. I've this is this oh gosh, I think I nearly lost my camera then. This is so potent. It is it's like 
you know when you smell like banana oh my gosh no it it, it is I, I can't I can't deal with it I can't I would love to love this and you know me I love that animalic indolic scent it's just even too much for me so trumpet flower is going to be discontinued and I've been told that's very hard to get hold of now so there we go next one let's let's move on to a few from the house of Hermes let's move on to the original Twilly by Hermes lovely tuberose and ginger some say Neh. some say yes and some say yes I like it and I'm one of those which I say I like it it's not an absolute love but I do like it so I'm going to keep it so the original the one that I absolutely do love even more and some people and I, that did surprise me and some people will say oh really yes Twilly Hermes the O Ginger I love this one I don't care what some people say I love it it's candied ginger beautiful stunning beautiful this time of the year and beautiful for winter Twilly Hermes au poivre yeah this is pink pepper and tuberose and it's beautiful so I'm glad I have all of those twillies now this next one if I ever decluttered this my husband would go absolutely mad I like it but I have to have a mood to wear it but I I don't declutter this if he's watching this it'd say you declutter that you get rid of that and you're getting rid of so I'm gonna keep it Yeah, so there we go. Next one, let's move on to the House of Argent Provocateur. I have four. So let's move on to the original Argent Provocateur. This one, this one is a mossy sheep with rose. It's very boudoir smelling like. Yeah, boudoir smelling like. And I really, really love it. So if you love your boudoir kind of scents, Argent Provocateur, then yes, that is really lovely. And one that is discontinued and you can't get rid of anymore, and I've had this a long time, is La Jante, which is very, very similar to a memoir, Amouage. This is Bond Girl in a Bottle. Yeah, a beautiful, lovely scent. And the next one that I have, which is extremely floral, but it's extremely vintage, is this one. This is Petal Noir. Yeah, this is, it's not a delicate scent at all, actually. It is, if you love your Anais Anais of the world, you'll love this, let me tell you. Quite a strong, potent scent. And then finally, I have Argent Provocateur Fatal, or Fatal, which... I don't wear and that is going to be discontinued so that one's discontinued there moving on next one let's go to a Lizelle the only Lizelle I have botanical number 15 this is what I call a bonfire in a fragrance it's what I would wear on Guy Fawkes night it is well it, it tells you what's in it actually it's very woody, it's got sandalwood, it's got it's got a bit of benzoin and vanilla, but really it's very aromatic and woody and yeah, it's it's deep, it's rich, it's resinous, it's I've had compliments when I've worn this and I'm glad I have it in my collection. The other one that I still haven't had and I do want to get is is it a raspberry sheep? I can't remember. But this one, well worth the money. The next one, the one by Molinard, is Tuberose Vertigineuse. This is a lovely tuberose scent, but I feel it's quite wearable to wear. I feel this is, well, Molinard, they're a very good perfume brand. It, yeah, if you can get your hands on this, it's, not too heavy really good this time of the year and yeah tuberose vertigineuse by molinard 
Now, these next two I have here. I have Love A Dose, the original, and I have Love A Dose Tattoo. This Love A Dose Tattoo is one of the nicest, milkiest scents that I own. It's milky, but it's slightly sweet and vanillic, and it's lovely in winter as a cosy scent. And then the original Love A Dose, this is more licorice. You've got to like licorice. It's quite sweet as well. Love a dose the original. Nobody really talks about these scents anymore. And it's a shame really, because they are still quite nice scents. The only one I have, because I decluttered a few from Elizabeth and James, the only one I have left is this one. Yes, it's only this one I have left. And this is what I call oh, my spa in a bottle. It's lavender and neroli. Yeah, if you've got to like neroli. But it is fresh, it's uplifting, it's soapy, it's moderate lasting. Elizabeth and James, some of them, I do want to try actually the black. Or is it the white? I can't remember now. But this one I adore as an everyday scent. And I love the tactileness of the what bottle, which is Venezia. This is a reformulated version. It's lovely and I do like it, but I don't hardly wear it, but I think I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I'm going to keep it for now because whenever I have worn it, it's, it's a mood setting fragrance. This is one that you can't wear just for every day. The bottle alone is beautiful. I do love the bottle. The next one, Femme by Roches. This is very animalic. It was Mae West's signature and let me tell you this is Chypre Floral Animalic to the max yeah Mae West certainly rocked it and I rock it too so I love that scent now one again by Veronica says that recommended well she didn't recommend she influenced me and I will still love it is still by Jennifer Lopez it's an everyday scent. You can dress it up, dress it down. White shirt, black tie, compliment getter. Just try it if you haven't tried it. Some people don't like it, but I do. Still by Jennifer Lopez. The one that is meant to be a dupe for Tender Poison, but I think Rosasi is a better one. But I do have Cabotine by Gress. This is... An original formula and because I already have my Rosati which I love I am going to declutter this so Cabotine by Grace this is going to be decluttered it's going to go to another home that will love this and that will cherish this so an original formula too but there we go got to be cutthroat next one is Narcotic Noir which is a dupe for black opium and I do like it but I love my black opium more this is being decluttered as well so there we go right next one we're going to talk about is Trusadi by Donna this kind of broke Richard was Trusadi by Donna if you love a fresh aquatic but citrusy floral but with some hidden depths to it. This is your girl. This is. It was, it's one of the most complimented scents that ever that I've worn for spring and summer. It's every, oh, it's just so uplifting. It's so happy. Makes me so happy. And I love Trusadi, Donna, the original one. Next one we're going to talk about <coughs> is from Prada. And it is La Femme Absolue. This is a beautiful frangipani based scent. But it has yellow florals in it. I feel it has ylang ylang in as well. And actually, somebody, I think a subscriber, her name was Sidoni. I love that name, Sidoni. She mentioned that if I love frangipani, I should try Chameleon by Zoologist. So I need to sample that first because I don't want to like 
go out and get that one straight away. Or if somebody wants to, you know, gift me a little sample and I can review it, I'm more than happy to do it. But Prada, yes, this is, I'm still smelling that Trisardi. Oh, it's so lovely by Donna. Oh my God, it's so lovely. Come come back to earth, Gabby. Prada, this is beautiful, ylang ylang, frangipani. An all year round scent, you could wear this in winter though. You know, it's a tropical scent you could wear in winter. So that's a beauty. Now this next one, this next one was a unicorn scent for me. It's a niche brand. Some people will love it, some people will hate it. I love it, but you've got to be in a mood to like it. My by Bogwe. This is one of the most camphorous florals, animalic florals. It's, it's, it's a bewitching fragrance. Everything in the kitchen sink in this. This is everything and the kitchen sink. This is I love it. My bubble great. Just try and sniff it if you can. It is one of those scents that's magical. And I think SJP by uh, Stash by SJP is up there with this. Yeah, that's a bold statement, I know, but there we go. Let's move on to Banana Republic Tobacco and Tonga Bean, the only one that I own. This is, yeah, a lovely sweet tobacco and tonka bean. And I love it. Not much to say about it, really. It's a staple. It's got the sweetness from the tonka bean, but it's not too strong. It's not, it's, oh. the tobacco in this is a wearable tobacco and it's an underrated scent. Banana Republic, Tobacco and Tonka Bean. The next one's from Gucci. I had Gucci Bloom, but I decluttered that. So the next one I'm going to talk about is Gucci Guilty, the original one. This is a lilac forward scent. It's a floral scent. You either have to like a floral. It's delicate, but it's got some punch to it. Absolutely beautiful. And the other Gucci that I have is Gucci Guilty Absolute. This is beautiful. This is Mod Rocker in a, a bottle. She's wearing that black jacket. She's got that short cropped hair. She's got the beret. She's got the, you know, the trilby hat if she hasn't got the beret. Yeah, and she's wearing this and it's completely unisex. This scent is as well. Next one. From the House of Fragonard, I spoke about one in my previous videos, but I've got this one as well. Lune de Miel, a really good substitute for hypnotic poison. And it lasts just as long, if not, uh, yeah, it lasts just as long as original hypnotic poison. And this is an eau de toilette, this is 200 mils. This is sweet vanilla. It's maybe, I think, a little bit sweeter than hypnotic poison. So Fragonard. And then the only one I have from Lolita Lempica, I decluttered a few Lolita Lempicas. The only one I have now is Alema La Folie. This is a beautiful Ylang Ylang, but it's a lovely summery scent, wearable scent. It's absolutely stunning. I love that. Next one, another celebrity scent, Britney Spears. This is the intense version, fantasy intense. In my opinion, much better than the original one. It has a little bit of fruitness to it. Sweetness lasts a bit longer, but not much longer. But it's still a banger nonetheless. One of my guilty pleasures. Let's go on to Calvin Klein, shall we? Yep, Calvin Klein. The original, well, this isn't the original, but this is Obsession, which is from the 80s. And... Richard loves this scent whenever I wear this. This is strong, strong, strong. This is one of those scents that's quite bewitching. 
you either love it or hate it and I really do like it it's another one of my guilty pleasures and why should I feel guilty about liking something that others may not like if I like it on me I'm going to wear it so obsession my obsession right now this next one is which I do love as well is Euphoria by Calvin Klein yep I decluttered the Euphoria Intense that was not intense at all this one though the original Euphoria if you love original Euphoria which is that slightly woody pomegranate in there as well which is quite nice and the fine actually no I have two more casherelles here casherelles Calvin Klein's the next Calvin Klein I have is Secret Obsession this is a spicy scent but this isn't really like the original obsession I mean this bottle here is like an Aladdin bottle and you just oh, feverishly wiping it where's the genie where's the genie no the genie isn't there no genie in a bottle I'm afraid but still spray it and there's your genie secret obsession by Calvin Klein and then this one I have is contradiction this is an aromatic slightly eucalyptusy scent which I have to say I only use as air freshener but I'm not going to declutter it because I like to use it as air freshener so I'm keeping it and I love yeah I love the bottle yes that is clean by the way so moving on finally to my doer scents Actually, first of all, let's talk about another dupe for Midnight Poison. Pure Royale. I haven't got the top. Um, by Federico Mahora. This is, this is meant to be a dupe for Midnight Poison as well. Um, and I do like to wear it from time to time. So if you're looking for another dupe for Midnight Poison, this is not the closest, I would say previous ones I've talked about are closest however uh, the closest one I feel to Midnight Poison is Late Night Venom this is beautiful I wore this last night and immediately Richard said to me what are you wearing Midnight Poison or Late Night Venom which is the dupe for Midnight Poison the it's the best dupe if it's still out there, buy it. Another dupe for Hypnotic Poison I have is Hypnotising Venom. This isn't... This is close to Hypnotic Poison. But if I'm being honest, I'm going to say Lune de Miel is probably closer. This is... This is slightly more bitter, I would say. It's, and actually, it didn't last very long on my skin. And I've used quite a bit, but I'm still going to keep it. Nonetheless, Hypnotising Venom by Dua. If you're looking for another one for a dupe for Midnight Poison. The next one we have is White Florals and Incense. This I'm actually going to declutter because I hardly ever wear it. It's meant to be a dupe for I can't remember what it's for a dupe for but it's meant to be a dupe for something but I don't know the next one though that I do love Jardin de Jasmine mm. this is a lovely jasmine based scent it is quite indolic and it's a doer original oh. I wore this to death last year so I'm in the spring and summer so I'm going to wear that again the next one with love from Oman this is a beautiful rose oud frankincense scent I don't know what it's a dupe for but it's if you love intense cafe by Montel but it's much better if you love roses vanille by Mansera but this is much better yeah, you heard it. You heard it here. Yeah, this is much better. You'll love it. The next one, Angelic Elixir, which is a dupe for K2 
ขลียน Oh God, the name escapes me. Oh, um, apple? No. Bra is a brandy scent. You know the you know the one I'm talking about. Angelic elixir. This is well, it's beautiful. I tried a little sample of the original one, which I really liked, but I have to say. This knocks pots off it. I'm sorry for those who love the original one, but I love this dupe. So Angelic Elixir is beautiful. And actually, you could layer this with other scents, I think. It's very boozy, very apple-y, and I do love it. And then finally, the last one I had, which is the very first doer that I tried, and it blew my socks off. Drowning in Vanilla which is a dupe for Nishane Annie. This is a beautiful, I don't know what Nishane Annie smells like, but this is really beautiful. This is rich, this is potent. And as it's macerated, it has got so much stronger. I've had this two years. This is, again, one of the strongest scents that I have in my collection. Dupe for Nishane Annie, drowning in vanilla. There we have it. We've come to the end of part three of my collection of fragrances. Did you enjoy it? Give a thumbs up if you did. My next video I'm going to do actually is going to be a little extended version, a kind of a part four of all my Bath and Body Works collections, which I layer combined with all my lotions that I have looking at my bottom uh section of my cabin over there which I have all of my some of my designer lotions other things that I have I have about half a dozen there that I'm going to talk about in my next video so all my lotions and potions with my bath and body works lotions and potions and sprays that will complete the whole of my collection so until then which is going to go up probably at the weekend so until then Till next time, I will see you in the next video. Be good, and if you can't be good, at least try and don't get caught. Till next time, ciao.